Welcome back everybody to Silverback Custom Works. Just wanted to get everybody up to speed of where we're at on this latest Scout project. Little diesel, diesel Terra. Just got done painting the insides and the jams, getting everything prepped for uh, exterior paint. Kind of show you, of course it's our pretty orange. We have another fan of the same color of the last Scout that we did. Um, and uh, we are a big fan of this color too. This is probably my favorite color to paint a Scout. I think it is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, we paint everything regardless of where it's going to have a, a mat in it or carpet or lots of guys, you know, they'll neglect painting the insides of the floors, figuring that it's not really necessary due to the fact that uh, it's going to have a carpet kit in it or a mat. Well, I kind of disagree. I figure that um even the factory didn't do that good of a paint job on the insides of the of the scouts and i think that that's one of the main reasons that they rusted as bad as they did they really just didn't have any kind of uh, protection to the metal so when we do them needless to say you can see we paint them paint the interiors and this one had the cargo floor replaced as well as um, front driver side and passenger side floor and cab mounts bulkheads installed for the Terra top to be uh, to be installed just kind of give you a little view of, of where we're at on this here next week uh, we will be spraying the outside color we'll hang the doors on it get them prepped and ready to go now these are the quarter panels by the way that uh, that we extended uh, using super scouts uh, 118 extension on the 100 inch wheelbase scout 2 quarter panels uh, the the extension piece i welded in and uh, blended it into the rest of the quarter panel matched up the body lines and and uh I've had some people ask about that and what kind of product it is and what's necessary to to get that installed. So trying to just everybody can see what was done. We jammed everything up, cut everything in as far as um, wheel well lips, fender lips, insides of the cow. All that will be painted again when we paint the outside of the body. but. It's one of those things that uh, in the jamming process, a lot of guys, uh, it's an inconvenient, difficult thing to, to hit when you're painting the outside. You're focusing on the cleanliness and sanitary of the exterior paint job when a lot of times the small jams get neglected. So I try to make sure that those are hit um, at least double, uh, sometimes triple. Uh, you reduce your chance of rust and corrosion around those points. Of course, we caulk all those areas. The uh, seams where the quarter panels are put on are all sealed up with urethane caulk, as well as the dog legs where they meet the rockers, the floors where they meet the rockers, everywhere where water can intrude into the seams. Try to seal that up, make sure that it's as impervious to moisture as possible, but. Nothing's 100%, obviously. As you can see, we got the underside of the hood painted. The doors have been jammed. Cow valance. The other door. Interior of the tailgate's been done, as well as the upper and lower grill. We kind of paint these these parts in in uh, in separate condition. That's the only way that you're going to get maximum coverage through your seams. Lots of guys will fully assemble a vehicle and then try to paint it all together. I don't believe in my experience that that's the right way to do it. You end up with uh, cracks and crevices and areas, pinch points where you just don't get good coverage. And uh, that's not what we're about. In previous uh, segments, I've thanked Super Scout Specialists for helping us out with, with parts. And I've thanked our customers. I'd like to do that again. Just thank our customer that uh, is the owner of this truck. 
great guys. We're blessed with uh, some awesome customers that are interested in doing things the right way, getting a good finished product, and uh, and that's what we're about here at Silverback Custom Works. I also got uh, got informed that. I like to thank the guys at Super Scout Specialists. Well, there's also a couple girls there behind the scenes. I want to thank them too. Not uh, not to leave the the females out of the equation. Big thank goes out. Big thanks goes out to uh, to all the uh, spouses involved in the Scout community. I can speak for the male part of the of the population. Sometimes we get a little obsessed and single-minded on what we're doing and. There's a lot of good wives out there and, and spouses that support support the projects that in our stupidity sometimes we get a little carried away on. But but uh, just want to thank all the spouses out there too. Thank my wife. She's very patient. As you can imagine, uh, this takes a lot of my time and uh, I appreciate her too. So, with that being said, if anybody has any questions, shoot me an email. Glad to answer you. Give me a call. You can uh, check out our website at silverbackcustomworks.com. Check out our, our uh, YouTube videos. We'll have more to come on this one as the progress continues on this, on this project. And if there's any questions or comments, feel free to shoot them at me. For now, you guys uh, have a good one and take it easy, and we'll hope to see you back in the future. So we're back Custom Works. Thanks.